hello everyone. Well, what a surprise with um, Orbitz coming up with uh, London City Airport. Uh, probably the second airport I fly most out of apart from Shortland. And yesterday they announced it, and so I downloaded it last night. And uh, it wasn't without its problems. It's got a couple of files that are missing or which aren't um, going near something to do with the Land Rover. I'm sure they're going to put it right no matter what anyway. But the first thing I would say is that um, the pictures and everything that they've shown to this airport are fantastic. They are good. And uh, they're using PBRs and the night lighting effects, or I'm going to say sunset effects on the runway. Absolutely brilliant as well. But obviously it does come with a, a cost. There's the um, frame rate kit that something of this uh, detail will always bring. Now, I'm just having a fly around here in the Cadbury. I had to switch off, obviously, parked aircraft, which I normally do anyway. But there's a couple of aircraft, as you can see already there, that they have um, put in. But you'll be noticing now, as I face the airfield, even on the settings I've got, which I'll show you in a minute, it's stuttering and I'm getting down to 11 frames a second. Now, on previous flights in this area, I would be getting, on the older one, somewhere in the region of 40 to 45, probably 50 most times, coming into the airport. And then as I flew off towards London, um, they might take a hit again. But one of the problems I can see at the moment is certainly for the helicopter flyer, running the detail that I've been used to running might uh, need a fair bit of tinkering with. So I just drop it down here, hopefully softly. It goes, but we'll get there. So, just to give you an idea, I've got no clouds, anything like that. Um, I've got distance set quite low for me. I normally have it well up here. Um, in the graphic setting, this is what I've always run never had a problem with before and generally I will take it off high occasionally and drop it back but I don't normally have to come back off there very much normally but as you can see um, when we resume the flight here you know, 17 frames a second there as I take off and fly around the airport I think we're going to see a drastic hit on the frames and then probably as we move away from the airfield the uh, frame rate will increase maybe even if we go to Walter London that will have an actual higher frame rate now you know my PC is overclocked to 4.7 I've got a 1080 graphics card you know I'm not in the position to uh, go and reinvest any more money at the moment in a new card or a new PC or a new processor and being a helicopter pilot low down detail is important to me but I do get the feeling that some of these things they're doing they're not optimising or making the most of maybe what's available to them and again I can only look forward and hope that when Vulcan comes out for X-Plane many of these issues to do with these very large texture files and the detail um, will disappear uh, probably if you're an airline pilot or if you're a light plane which I might give a try later on to you're not going to experience the drastic frame rates of flying low down but for us helicopter pilots it's a 
a major thing and I can only hope that maybe apart from that Land Rover file that Orbix have uh, some other tweaking to do to get this right because for us you know I'm going to be tempted to take it off and put the old London airport back on just to get the frame rate back up again so anyway less talking let's get up into the air we're at 17 frames at the moment stationary get a right pedal other people will do a much better job of talking about this airfield or this airport than I ever will so the first thing you notice is we have a lot more cars around the uh, buildings look different this is a new building the Tate and Lyle building uh, the textures again look different and one of the strange things I noticed flying around earlier that you wouldn't normally have picked up on um, the speed of the, uh, the cars that are going around on the roads seem to be much better they seem to be proportionate to the road that they were on now I don't know if this is because we're getting such ridiculous frame rates like now I'm on eight nine frames here and you can see the transport there is there's a red van on the road below there is hardly moving now I'll head off even at this very low frame rate and head off towards the, uh, the city and then just see as we move away from the London City Airfield which I'm going to say does look spectacular the new bridge there they've got the firefighting um, airplane down there uh, it does say that if you actually crash that fire engines will come out and actually attend to you which uh, in the virtual world does seem a bit odd I have to say um, but with my viewing distance is not even set that high where do, where do we draw the line against things that are flyable compared to the detail that we want to see and um, certainly when it comes to cities we're going to suffer with helicopters no matter what um, when we're flying up in the mountains we can get great frame rates and that but I for one would love to be able to fly low uh, a bit like we did in New York New York not a problem on the standard scenery as you might have seen in my previous video but this looks fantastic but in some respects is unflyable so as we gradually get move away I am expecting to see some form of frame rate increase but these are all new buildings on the left here they look good amongst the, um, the cranes and everything I'm just wondering how much I'm going to have to turn down to get this into a flyable situation and again you know I'm persevering, persevering here with the frames I'm getting and uh, as you know in, or might not know in x plane if you're flying in a straight line it, it's always working uh, generally at its best if we start spinning with the tower or rotating things will really grind to a halt and um, graphics have trouble keeping up so um, I'm just holding that in a fixed position we're moving away we'll get over the O2 arena see what happens when we get towards town as it were you know I just wonder if they really increase because the detail while we were stationary was fantastic and that's what I want to see but what am I going to have to pay to get a helicopter to fly around in scenery that that well is that detailed um, 
and could I afford ever to do it? So we're striving for more and more detail. And look at that, that building appearing on the right. I've never had something just appear there. Now I know I've reduced the distant viewing option, but to see that appear just out the blue like that, that's very odd. Um, the road structures look great. Canary Wharf as we head towards it. Um, always looks good and it's a great place to fly through. Uh, the ground textures there, we seem to have a lot of white speckle effects uh, on some of the larger areas which don't look quite so good. Uh, some of the buildings in the surrounding areas have been altered and there was an update to the um, Orbitz library as well. So I'm expecting um, maybe a bit more detail down in the Thames and in the city area. So we're not exactly motoring at this frame rate. You know, I can normally come through here. It looks fantastic, by the way, but... If I wasn't going in a straight line, we wouldn't be getting anything like normal, what I would say, flight characteristics from the model that I'm flying. You know, it's going in a straight line, because I'm holding it in a straight line, not trying to. And I'm just looking at the detail. So we've gone up to 10, 11 frames there as we move a bit further away. Now I've done this run lots of times, but um, I'm sure I, I might spot some changes that they've done. Uh, it would always be nice if they gave an absolute detailed thing as to what they've done. My biggest gripe in the past were buildings that weren't touching the ground. Um, As I'm coming round here, a majority of the buildings are touching the ground. As we get up through the bridge, that will be the main thing because a lot of the buildings there were the ones that were floating well above um, the ground level. Which, especially for us helicopter pilots, um, that didn't make it look too good. So, 11 frames, 12 frames, it's getting, appears to be flying a little bit smoother as we're approaching into the city. Maybe less graphic work for it to be done at the moment. But... It's very odd for me to have the uh, distance turned down. I'm used to seeing the whole of uh, London sort of going off into the distance as it should look. And um, it looks a bit blank there as a canvas. So I'm going to put it on pause a moment. And I'm going to go and put that back up to what I normally run it at and see what happens. I normally have it around the blue marker there. So a few more buildings appear. Not many, we're at a ridiculously low 11 frames. I mean, I'm hoping um, it's a cock up from my side. I'm hoping I've got something going on that shouldn't be going on. What I should say is I've, I've taken everything out of my Unifold that is now not Orbit. 
and um, when I did the download last night I verified all the files and made sure that they were okay um, but we had terribly hot weather here yesterday and my PC uh, was really struggling with the temperature so yes the UK actually had hot weather for a change um, it really was very very hot and muddy so we do the usual thing even try and do it at 12 frames a second it's a bit harder we go between bridge nowhere near the smoothness that we've had before but the buildings on as we're coming through I'm going to suggest that the placements are lower that could be uh, something that they've done or they've improved I don't know as you can see there on the left I've got a building gradually appearing just above the ship and another one gradually appearing there which with the distance settings I've got should be just visible all the time so either X-Plane or uh, Orbits have stepped in and done some, something strange there maybe once you reach ridiculous frame rates like the 11 X-Plane steps in and takes over and uh, does all the uh, amendments just to keep us airborne but look at that there, there's some great detail now and the reflections you know oh, I'm going to be moaning about the frame rate but I'm not going to be moaning about the scenery that they've done here this is uh, the buildings they are touch it, touching the edge so I'm going to say there's been a, a change there in some respect um, we'll only go up as far as the wheel and have a look because uh, there's a wonky's blog that this frame rate this isn't real flying this is just holding it I might as well have got out and walked at this stage but it does seem we might have some new textures on the buildings, on the, uh, the water side there. Could be that I've missed it in the past, or the last ones, but... It generally looks a little bit better in placement. I might be wrong but I'm sure people will put me right if that's the case but 11 frames a second you know I'm dreading what I'm going to have to turn it down to to get this to fly normally you know the pre you can look back on my previous videos of the London River run and things like that where it looked fantastic and we were hitting very very good frame rates and that you know there look it's got to be an X-plane thing that St Paul's it's reduced my viewing distance on certain objects to counteract the ridiculous frame rate that I'm getting and I have done some work on trying to uh, see what it might be I do overcrop my graphics card I ran some tests on that as well that's working fine on every other single program and it does seem to be X-plane orientated for London at the moment I'm going to be going off back to Shoreham to do some checks later on um, yeah there, there the OXO building I'm not sure that graphic was there before so again they, they are continually improving and you know it looks fantastic but it also has to be flyable and uh, putting all this good detail in low down possibly with the problems in frame rate 
or what type of uh, computer you're going to have to run to get a reasonable frame rate. Um, maybe I'll have a tinker and if I find the answer by the end of today or see anything that's different then I'll add it on and it'll be apologies all round to everyone saying that I'm a complete idiot but from one day to the next just loading in the updates to the True Earth South, the library and the airport has completely changed the way and the frame rates and everything that we're getting the next plane or I'm getting the next plane maybe other people will um, say the same or that be helicopter pilots mainly because I don't think plane pilots are going to get the same uh, uh, problems so I'll end it here with a quick uh, look round the Houses of Parliament um, can't see Boris Johnson in there at the moment we had our new Prime Minister now installed Boris Johnson and uh, it's going to be an interesting time there as well so not only in the flight scene world but in the political world with the UK trying to pull out of the EU with change Prime Ministers because we couldn't get a deal done um, Boris is a bit of a character and um, he might well do it where others have failed who knows but it will certainly be an interesting time in politics for uh, the next period uh, and again there as you can see nothing in the distance which I've always had before lovely textures, good modelling and a frame rate that's gone up to 16, 17 now but still stuttering so let's just drop it round here and we go round by the wheel and then I'll go straight off the shore and, and see if we've got a similar effect there You can see those buildings there opposite just appearing. So that's definitely, I think, an X plane trick, or maybe that if you get below 20 frames, it's going to reduce your drawing range to something ridiculous and something that I've never had to do before. So you can see it appearing there on the left with a the low frame rate. So I'm going to leave it with a, a job well done to Orbix because the pictures and when you're stationary, it is fantastic, the new London City Airport and what's happening to London is fantastic. But there's a caveat that, you know, these things have to be flyable and I'm going to say also flyable at certain budget because you know there's a lot of us now this is probably my last go at a big PC money wise I might be able to afford a new graphics card later on in the year but for me to enjoy flying maybe going back to the city is not going to be possible because of the hit on the frames and the fact of turning detail down to the fact it doesn't look like it's supposed to, um, that would be a shame. So, uh, you'll look there at somewhere we've flown round at quite high speed before, certainly not at 17 frames a second, Skyfall. And I'll head off now to Shoreham and we'll just see how Shoreham reacts, same helicopter, same settings and uh, 
let's see what happens then. So here we go, it's going to be a bit of a blank and then we'll be off somewhere else. Raya, hello. So we're now back at Shoreham, at my usual um, base of operation, as it were. And the frame rate here seems to have gone down as well. Again, I would be expecting on a flat screen with these details, probably, you know, 50, something like that, um, that I've had in the past. So I'm not sure what's happened. Um, I really do hope it's something that um, I've been a complete idiot and missed something. But let's get off the ground here. These are exactly the same settings that we had for London earlier. And obviously it's going to be a much smoother flight here over the green airfield. But 25 frames? that is an, uh, usual you know for me this is um, maybe the update on the uh, true earth south might have made a difference maybe it's a library thing um, I don't know but at the moment I'm going to say you know, 30 you can live with, of course you can. But look in the distance. I'm used to seeing all the way to Brighton Pier and it being dead sharp and uh, all the buildings visible. And I'm not getting that. So, um, not sure what's going on. Hopefully I'll be able to report back. It's a computer malfunction. Something I've done has uh, caused the error. Or, if we're really lucky, Orbix might announce something and post something tomorrow and everything will be back to how it was and being able to achieve the frame rates that uh, we were certainly used to because as a helicopter pilot coming down into the, you know, below 30s, uh, they don't respond in the same way that... Um, they should and of course you know, if anyone else has downloaded it and uh, has a similar problem I'd be great to hear in the comments if you've downloaded it and I'm the only person that's getting it in some respects it would be a relief because um, you know we want a simulator with great detail and the highest frame rates we can get for us helicopter pilots uh, you know, it's bad enough as having to tinker so much in the VR to get it running, but flat screen has never ever been a problem before, and um, at the moment it certainly is. Uh, so, as we head off towards what would have been Brighton in the distance, so you can just about see the VMI twit tower the, there, but that would have been normally easily visible with the pier. Um, I'll leave it there and just as usual thank everyone for taking the time sorry it's been a bit of a sort of bit of a downer really because I was so looking forward to that scenery being fantastic and uh, you know keeping up those frame rates and everything else and whenever I see a new Orbix library go up I'm always pleased because I know they're making adjustments and it means we're seeing more detail and we're getting more stuff but um, I hope I'm wrong please do let us know in the comments um, I'm certainly no, not the world's best expert on this type of thing I can only tell it as it is from one day to the next and uh, that was a big difference from one day to the next um, as usual thank you so much for taking the time to listen and if you can, subscribe, press the subscribe button. And uh, hopefully next week we might have some better news. And uh, I'll either be admitting what a fool I've been or 
maybe we'll have an update from Orbix that will put everything right or maybe some comments to put me right which would be the other option so again thanks for listening and have a great week